your channel class like community so today we will be doing the topic of the parallel circuit which 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 will be on RLC parallel circuit we know that in parallel circuit the current starts dividing at every junction so here we will be dealing with three main components that is the resistance one inductance and the capacitor so R is our resistance L is our inductance and C is our capacitance. So R, L and C that is resistance, inductance and capacitor will be in parallel circuit and uh, V which is the applied voltage will be given applied voltage will be provided and I will be divided and the current across the resistance is the IR current across the IL uh, current across the inductor is the IL current across the capacitor is the IC so let's move on and define all the terms so terms to be defined are that IR is the current across resistance and we can denote IR as V by R and it's unit will be ampere why v by r because we know in ohm's law that v is equal to i r so if i want i i will do v by r so for i l it is v by r i l it is current across inductance that is v by j xl why j is here because we know that whenever there is a relationship between current and the voltage in the inductance the current lags by 90 degree that's why this j is in the denominator which states that the current lags by 90 degree if it is the in the numerator like the capacitor this states that the current leads by 90 degree so ic means that the current will lead by 90 degree with respect with the voltage so current across capacitor is j v by xc and xl can also be told as omega l and xl and xc will be said as 1 by omega c okay now let's see the phasor diagram so this is a phasor diagram first we will draw a reference line which will be based on v because we are doing the parallel circuit and in the parallel circuit voltage are same for the everyone so we will take v as the reference line and we know that the current and the voltage doesn't have an angle in the resistance so the ir will be in the same line but ic will lag in the that means capacitor current will uh, lead by sorry lead by 90 degree and the il will lag by 90 degree we will assume that ic that is the current of the capacitor will be greater than the current of the inductor so there we will have a result in which that will be ic minus il and we will draw parallel imaginary line for the ir and parallel imaginary line for the ic minus il so wherever both of the imaginary line cuts it will be my result in let's I. begin so this was our phasor diagram first one and our admittance will be so for finding the admittance it will be i equal to ir plus il plus ic okay that means the combination of the current resistance current inductance and the current capacitance so we know that ir is v by r il is v by j xl we will write the respective values here and j v x c for the i c so we will take out the v as a common and we will bring down to i by v and this i by v states that it is denoted by y because this y is a admittance so we know that our i r is a conductance so we will denote it as g where i xl is a susceptance and susceptance is denoted by b but it is the inductance so it will be denoted by bl similarly our i xc is susceptance but this susceptance is the 
capacitor so we will denote it as pc pc so as here our j is in the denominator so whenever we bring to the up that is to a numerator our sign change so here our sign got changed to minus so if we take j as common it become bc minus ba so this equation is in the rectangular form so we will do its magnitude so we get as y is equal to under root g square plus bc minus bl square and its unit is ohm inverse so now let's move on to our third parameter which is our power factor and we know that power factor means cos phi so if we make a phasor diagram again v is a reference and we know that the current and resistance and the voltage doesn't have any angle and our current ic lead by 90 degree that mean capacitor of the current and the voltage have a relationship at which the current will lead and whereas the inductor current will lag by 90 degree here we will assume that ic is greater than il so we will have a result in ic minus il and we will do a parallel imaginary line for ic minus il and il and wherever it cuts will be our i and this i will be the combination of ic plus ir plus il so for cos phi we need to know that it is based by hypotenuse so our base is ir and a hypotenuse this is this one is i so we know that ir is v by r and i is v dot y that is voltage into um, admittance so v we get cuts and we know that ir is our conductance and we denote conductance as g so we got our value as g by y and we know that g by y now we will do the sin phi sin phi is a perpendicular by hypotenuse so a perpendicular is ic minus il so we will write ic minus il by i and we know that ic is v by xc minus v by xl by v dot y v dot y is a current so we will take out the v as common and we will cut all the v's and we know that 1 by x is the acceptance of the capacitor so it will be denoted as bc and the 1 by xl is the acceptance of the inductor which will be denoted as bl so we are left over with the value bc minus bl by y so now we will move on to their fourth parameter which is the current and we know that i is equal to voltage into admittance right so v dot square root of g square plus bc minus bl square because we have already find the admittance value and we know that the i is a unit is ampere now we will solve the three powers that is a active power reactive power and the apparent power why in the power factor we solve the sin phi because the sin phi will be needed in the reactive power so as for the active power is denoted by p and we know that cos phi value is g by y so we will put g by y and i value is v dot y so y y get cut and we are left over with v square g and its unit is watt reactive power is denoted by q and its uh, equation is vi sin phi we have already find the sin phi which is bc minus dl y and we know that i is v dot y so y y get cut and we are left over with b v square bc minus bl and its unit is v that means volt ampere reactive and at last power is a apparent power which is denoted by s and s is equal to v dot i so that is the voltage into current and we know that i is the multiplication between the voltage and the admittance so we get the value as v square y and its unit is volt ampere so i hope you all understood the rlc parallel circuit till then be happy and have a great day now is the good time 
a great obstacle to happiness is to expect too much happiness i hope all of you understood the lecture of today and thank you for watching wow that's impressive you have completed a magic today for more videos subscribe join our facebook group and instagram page for group discussion and live magus videos for exam preparation in an hour we start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages if you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation then please join us by visiting classfly.in